So today I'm filming Beauty Crush's tag video, the Great British tag. So although I wasn't tagged by anyone, I thought I would take part anyway. I thought the questions were really fun and since I've not done a tag video, I just, I'm gonna do it. Question one is, how many cups of tea do you have a day? And um, Sammy also said that you have to be drinking a cup of tea whilst filming the video. But I don't drink tea. I actually don't drink any hot drinks. So I drink hot chocolate, but I don't drink coffee. I don't, don't drink, drink tea. Some people think that's really weird, but I'm sure I'm not the only person out there who doesn't drink tea. And if you're like me, then leave a comment below so that I don't feel weird. Instead, I'm drinking my favourite drink. I'm drinking a can of Pepsi. So I don't drink any cups of tea a day. So that's the answer to that question. It's going great this video already, isn't it? Question two is, favourite part of your roast dinner? Oh, anyone who knows me knows that my favourite part would be Yorkshire puddings. We have a restaurant in England called Toby Carberry and they sell um, roast dinners. So Carberry, so you'd queue up, you'll get your roast dinner, you'd get to pick your veg, your meat, and normally they put one Yorkshire on your plate, and I will always, always, always get at least four Yorkshire puddings, and they're about the size of my hand at least, and whoever I'm with, they always say, you're not going to eat all of them, and I do, it's my favourite part, even the fort right now, I could... It is Sunday today and I do fancy a roast dinner, so I think I could go to Toby Carberry. So yeah, Yorkshire puddings are my absolute favourite, 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 favourite. They're so nice and smothered in, oh my god, chicken gravy. Oh. Or homemade gravy. Question three is my favourite Dunkin' Biscuit. Um, mine has to be Bourbons. Um, I know I don't drink tea, but I do make tea to dunk biscuits. That's really weird. So when I was younger, like my nan or my mum, they would save like this much of their tea so that I could dunk. They would they would say, oh Joanne, um, here's some tea for dunking. So it would literally be dunking tea. I wouldn't drink it, but it would just be to dunk biscuits. Uh, and I would always have bourbons. So they're the, they're the chocolate ones with chocolate inside. The pink wafers, I don't know what they're called. They're like pink and they're, I think I think they're called pink wafers. Um, ginger nuts. I. I only eat ginger nuts if, I, if they're dunking because you have to let them dunk for long enough so that they're about to break off but you eat it before it breaks off. Mm. Oh, I'm craving all of this food now. Okay, question four is favourite quintessentially British pastime and I grew up by the seaside so for me it now living in London it has to be going home to the seaside just being on the beach just anything to do with the beach so Making sandcastles, eating ice cream, Mr. Whippies, fish and chips. Oh my god, like there's nothing better than being on the beach with a bag of fish and chips and the vinegar dripping through and just nothing is nicer than the sea air and you've been on the beach all day and the sun's going down but you're still all sat there chilling. It's, it is my favourite thing in the world. Question five is what is my favourite word? I, what is my favourite word? Okay, so I don't know if it's my favourite word, it's not even a proper word, but it's just a word that me and my friends use, so we used to hate, when, when we were growing up, we used to hate babe, oh hi babe, yo babe, you okay babe, it was a time when everyone was saying the word babe, so we started saying bib. <laughs> So B-E-B-E, -B -E, um, but we say it a lot now, like it started as a thing to take the mick and now it's just become a thing. So whenever I'm talking to the girls, I'll be like, hey babe, hey babe, but when we say it, we kind of say babe, so it's, it's kind of reversed on us a little bit, but babe, I don't know, yeah, I don't have a favourite word. Uh, it looks like I'm naked, I've just realised, but I've got a top on. It's number six is Cockney Rhyme Slang, apples and pears. I don't know, I'm not very good at this. Apples and pears, I think that means going up the stairs. <laughs> I'm so bad at being British. Um, apples and pears. When I hear other people using Cockney, I kind of, I'm like, oh yeah, I know what that means. And I'll, I'll say, like, oh, it means this, but 
No. I'm failing at being British right now. Number seven is my favourite sweet. My favourite sweet is the cherries. So they're the they have the two red bits here and then the green. Not the sour ones, just the normal ones. And you normally get them in like pick and mix. They're about this big. They're my all-time favourite. And you can get mini ones as well, which used to be like a penny. They're probably like 5p now. But yeah, they were like the mini ones. They're amazing. When I was younger as well, my mum always used to get... They were like alf alphabet letters, but sugar, like really sugary and quite like 3D shaped. Um, I used to eat them a lot. And I like the fizzy cola bottles, but they're pink and blue. They're really nice. But I only have two of them. My face goes like this. Number eight, what would your pub be called? Um, my pub would be called, I'm literally looking, there's a pub right across from where I'm looking and it's called Green King. I think that's the beer though. I don't even know what the, what the pub's called. So, my pub would be called, I'm so bad at this, uh, Joe's Gaff. Joe's Gaffer. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know what my pub would be called. Joe, Joe's kind of laddish, isn't it? So if it's going to be a pub, there's going to be a lot of men in there. So Joe's something. Joe's... Joe's boozer. No, I don't know. I'm <laughs> so bad at this. Number nine is your number one favourite British person. My favourite British person, Princess Diana. When I was younger, I used to really enjoy watching her on TV and I remember collect after she died, I collected stamps and like magazine cutouts and um, I just think she was a really aspiring person and like it's so warming like even when you hear about her now. Um, I, yeah, I think she's a, an amazing British person. Number 10 is my favourite shop slash restaurant. Hmm. So my favourite shop would be Topshop, which a lot of people have said. A favourite restaurant would probably be Toby Carberry. Toby Carberry is quite British um, and I do always love to go there. And number 11 is what British pop songs come into your head. Spice Girls. Yo, tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Oh my god, I can't believe that's just come to my mind. Spice Girls are my number one British. Whenever whenever I think of the Union Jack, I think of Spice Girls. Definitely Victoria Beckham. I forget that she's British because she's always in America. Wonderwall. Today is gonna be the day that the guy I think of Kano as well, like when I, when I think of British, like I think British is very pop um and rap. Number twelve, Marmite. No, hate it. Hate, hate, hate it. Marmalade. I'm more of a marmalade person. No marmite, just marmalade. That's definitely my thing, I think. I don't, I'm not very British, am I? I've just realised. But yes, yeah, so this is the British tag. I feel like my answers were really bad. So that's a wrap. All done. That was my first tag video. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching and I'll be back next week. So this this is my posh British voice today. I've just filmed the British tag and I'm a twat. I feel like I should have a union jack behind me.